today we got the sixth book in the Broken Code season of the Warriors, the final book in the Broken Code, A Light in the Mist by Aaron Hunter themselves, and well, let's get right onto it. So, let's get on with a brief summary first, and I'll tell you guys why I love this book. First off, from last time, Root Spring got trapped in the dark forest where they went to rescue Bramble Star, and using this, getting the sisters' help, using their mystic powers, they managed to sing a Shadow Sight and Bristle Frost into the dark forest to help out Root Spring. And they managed to escape Death's grip from Ashford by a little bit, by a whisker. And now, Root Spring and Bristle Frost gets trapped and Shadow Side goes back up to the clans to get help. Meanwhile, Shadow Side, Bristle Frost, and um, Root Spring, just before Shadow Side left, realizes something. They realize, they realize that the, the brambles that Ashford has put, the barrier that Ashford has put, between the Dark Forest and Sura Clan is the thing that's causing both the Dark Forest and Sura Clan to get destroyed. And therefore, all they need to do is remake that connection and defeat Ashfur. And that's pretty much all we need to do. So, yeah. And we also know that the Ashford's connection with the Spirit Cats can be broken, and we're pretty sure that if we get rid of Ashfur, the Spirit Cats that he's controlling is free. Meanwhile, Shadow Side convinces and brings the Clan Patrol. Greystray from Thunder Clan, Misty Star from River Clan, uh, himself, Shadow Side from Shadow Clan, and Crowfeather from Wind Clan, and finally Violet Shine from Sky Clan. They're all they also And it it almost feels like it, I really love this because it almost feels like we got a representative from every single season. For example, for season 1, Greystripe and Misty Star. For season 2, Crowfeather. For season 5, Violet Shine. And as for season 3 and 4, well, you know Root Spring and uh, Root Spring and Bristle Frost, they're still trapped in the Dark Forest. Bristle Frost has managed to convince some Dark Forest warriors, however Root Spring, well he's trapped with Dark Stripe and Maple Shade, and he's been he's been caught by Houndly, Maple Shade, and and these bad guys, and Darkstripe, and he's trapped in a hole, and he can't escape until a voice in his head says, Trust me. Trust me. Where are you going? Okay. Until he hears a voice. The voice says, Trust me. And it goes on to take over Ruthring's body to get him out of the sticky situation. There, there we realize that his eyes are suddenly green. Yes, you, we are right. We got Firestar, baby! And Firestar beats the crap out of Darkstripe and just kills him. And scares away Maple Shade and Houndlink. And he's like pretty awesome. And meanwhile, he, you remember how Bristle Frost, I just told you Bristle Frost managed to convince some Dark Forest Warriors? Well, she got these some of these Dark Forest Warriors to go to the Star Clan barrier, and together, from Star Clan from the other side, and then from this side, start to break down the barrier. And Needletail manages to get out, and she's the first Star Clan Warrior to join the fight. And afterwards, a bunch of Star Clan Warriors come through. Needletail, well, I just told you, Red Tail, One Star, Feather Tail, Silver Stream, all of these really, really cool cats come out, and finally, the last one of them, Firestar. Pretty much the most charismatic and awesome character in the Warrior series ever to exist. And and with that, they managed uh, the Clan Patrol. Meanwhile, has managed to get through and find the Star Clan cats and rendezvous with the Star Clan cats, and they come together and they go ahead and form a patrol to go against you know, Ashfur. And Firestar and Greystrip has an emotional get-together, so does Silverstream, Feathertail, and Greystrip, because, you know, they're related. Silverstream being, you know, Greystrip's first mate, and they're all good, and they love each other, and it's awesome, and we go ahead, and we go to the fight to Darktail, uh, to, not Darktail, what am I saying, to Ashfur. And to, they go to Ashfur, and at first they seem to be winning, but Ashfur has one final ace card. He managed to bring Darktail and a bunch of his rogues, rogue spirits, up to the Dark Forest so they could fight for him. However, however, Darktail dies from a combined attack from Violet Shine and Needletail. And Darktail dies and and they start to fight 
And finally, after after a really, really long battle, Bristle Frost sacrifices herself, inspired by Firestar's leadership, and pushes Ashfar into the enveloping water, which erases freaking people from existence or cats from existence. And freaking Bristle Frost is gone, but so is the bad guy Ashfar, and that's the end of the book. And Root Spring is really, really sad. And basically what this results in is in a, in a rearranging of the warrior code in priority and in, in a way that it actually makes sense and matches the modern way that the clans live. Star Clan approves, so does the clans, and it's a happy ending. That analysis, a bit boring for the first half hour in my opinion, but things really paced up for me when Firestar appeared. Because it's like literally we're oh my god, we're gonna lose, man. There's there's hundreds of them Astro can control freaking cats. How are we gonna how are we gonna beat him? And then, you know, Alexander the Great shows up and he pretty much just commands the battlefield with all the clan cats and Firestar. And I love just the descriptions of the new gen cat of Firestar. It's like He's so assured of himself, like, there's an innate charisma to him that leads cats on, and it's really, really awesome. And I really loved how that was portrayed, and it got such a fit of nostalgia from Greystripe and Firestar fighting side by side once more. I also love the fight scenes as usual. In Warriors, the fight scenes are really, really good, and the portrayals are always very freaking awesome and very, very detailed and very, very grounded. And I mean, bro, they're freaking cats. How did Aaron Hunter, or the group known as Aaron Hunter, manage to describe the cats in such a vivid manner? I don't know, man. They're geniuses. And I love that Bristlefrost was a sacrifice rather than a love interest for Rootspring. This is because they kind of did this with Feathertail, like, you know, Feathertail and Crowfeather forbidden love, whoa, 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 and the Feathertail died in a sacrifice. But for her, she kept having dreams about it and whatever, and it was kind of foreshadowed very heavily. But for Bristlefrost, it kind of felt out of nowhere, but nowhere, out of nowhere, good kind of out of nowhere, because it felt like it made sense. And it really did feel... Like, because it was supposed to feel sudden, right? It was supposed to feel out of nowhere, like it felt for Root Spring, and that's how it felt for us. And that's, the, I thought that was a pretty awesome sacrifice. But I couldn't stop fanboying over Firestar coming over and pretty much going Alexander in great mode and just commanding the battlefield with his charisma and just beating the crap out of everyone, because, you know, it's pretty awesome. He's he's the best character that the, war, that the Warrior Saga has ever had, in my opinion. He's, like, I, I'm sure a lot of people agree with me, but Firestar is kind of badass and awesome so that is pretty much it for my review i give this book like an 8.5 out of 10 like if the front part was a little bit better paced in my opinion of course if it was kind of boring for me but i thought if if the front part was slightly better paced and then and then um the fire star stuff was a little bit more heavily implied no not heavily implied but a little bit more segments of Firestar like talking is in at the front then I thought it would work as a better build up for his appearance in in um around around like uh, like the last three fourths of the book I mean of course I mean Firestar appearing was super 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 cool and super awesome but it felt slightly out of nowhere like I thought I thought Aaron Hunter could easily hype that up more because Firestar is such a good character and he deserves hyping up because he's pretty much a living legend well a star clan spirit not loving legend anyways that is pretty much it and like always your plot cruster and the plot cruster a light in the mist pretty awesome book highly recommend the entire warrior saga if you haven't read it and have a great day everybody